Hi, this is Miss Kim. Welcome to Miss Kimmy's Art Corner. It's nice to be able to say that again. Today we're going to be making fingerprint paint cards. And when I say that is these little flowers are going to be made by using your finger to paint. You're going to need some supplies, so I'm going to tell you what you need. Then you can hit pause, you can gather supplies, and then come back. First and foremost, I want to make sure that you protect your work service. So get yourself the trash bag liner and lay it down on the surface. You're going to need two pieces of construction paper. The main construction paper for the card. And then you're going to need a smaller piece and that will be cut to make the heart. You're also going to need two pieces of printer paper. And the reason for two is one so that you can rough out your note that you want to make for the inside of your card and the second one would be so that you can do the final draft of your note so that you can make an, a card a note for the inside of your card so the other items that you'll need of course then are paint you're going to want some happy colors something in yellow or red or orange a paint palette or a paper plate so that you can put your paint out um, paper towels, dampen them. They don't have to be drippy wet, just damp enough to wipe your fingers off. Markers or crayons, glue. You can use glue. I prefer glue stick, but if you ha only have the white glue, that'll work. A pencil. I have a ruler here just so I can show you for size. You don't necessarily need one. And a pair of scissors so that we can cut out the heart that we're going to put on our card. Right, we're going to get started. First of all, we need to start by folding our cards. So take your paper and we're going to go landscape, meaning this way. We're going to fold it in half this way. Take the two sides, line them up, and then give yourself a nice crease. And now you have a card. I'm going to clear my workspace here a little bit. On this card, you're going to draw a dot at the bottom of the card okay the dot is your anchor for your stems so every stem is going you're going to start at that point and draw up away from the dot your stems do not need to go all the way to the top of the page or all the way out to the page remember you're going to add a flower you can put about six to eight stems so when you're done this is what it will look like. Okay, so you'll draw your stems out. Now, I showed you one a step ahead with having flowers. To paint the flowers, you're going to load up your finger with paint and you're going to put dots of color, like about five in a circle. So one, two, three, four, five. If it, it, they don't have to be perfect. I'm going to do it one more time so that you can see how to do this. Are you ready? At the end of us, a new stem. One, two, three, four, five. And see, mine aren't exactly perfect, but that's okay. Every flower in nature is not exactly perfect. You just continue doing that until you fill in all of your stems. Now I'm going to skip to showing you. This is where your damp paper towel comes in handy. You're going to clean off your finger. And you're going to add centers. I'm going to show you how to add a center. Clean off your finger because you're going to use a new color. Load up your your painting tool, which is your finger, and just go to the, add a dot of color to the center of each flower. It won't be perfect, but that's okay. Now, to really jazz up your card, I'm going to hold this up so you can see. To jazz up your card, you continue adding flowers to the ends of each stem. And you can actually go back and add flowers in the middle as well, just like I did here. 
And you can mix it up. You don't have to have just one color. I just did one color here, but you can see I mixed it up. You can even add just little dots of color. Now, when you get to the point where you have all your flowers, put that, have an adult put that on a higher surface so you don't have a pet walk through that or a sibling touch it. Now we're going to make our heart. Take your smaller piece of paper. You're going to fold it over. You don't have to put a hard crease in this. You're going to hold the crease with your left hand and with your right hand you're going to draw unless you're a lefty and then it goes the other way. Put, uh, start your heart about three quarters of the way down on that crease. Go up, come down. That's a half of the heart. Now you want to take your scissors and cut that half of a heart out. This is always my favorite part when we're at school and everyone can, all the kids go, ooh. <laughs> now with that heart, you can embellish it and you can make it fancy. What's cool is you could do paint around the edges like I did here. Dunk your finger in the way you've been doing and do dots around the edge. You can leave it plain. Before you put the paint on there though, I highly recommend that you write your words if you want to write something on there. For this heart, I wrote, I love you a whole bunch. For this one, I wrote, thanks a bunch. That would be a nice one for your teacher or even for your mom because right now moms are doing a lot of extra tasks. This one's plain. And this one says, I love you a whole bunch. Now put your put your your card has been set aside to dry, and if you're adding paint to this, have that set aside as well. Now we're going to work on the inside of the card. So that's why I told you you're going to need two of these. So one, you would write out your message. If you like what you wrote on your first try, and I highly recommend you start in pencil because you can erase pencil, and then after you're done writing your message you can go back and use your marker to go over top of your pencil so it makes it look bright and pretty. And if you don't want to do it all in green, that's fine too. You can mix it up. You can use blue. You can use all the colors of the rainbow. And you just go over top of your pencil just to make it extra special. Or leave it with the pencil. This is your card for your whoever you're making it for. Now, let's pretend it's the next day and we're going to assemble our card. So now you have, you have, your paint is dry and your little heart that you made is dry. Just use your glue stick, add some glue to the back, glue that down, you'll glue it. I'll use this card here to show you. You'll glue it down here over top of the stems and that's where it will make it it'll cover all that where you that's live television the marker just rolled off the table <laughs> and my cat is playing with it so I added some glue to that see that and then the inside the note which I have right here after you're done writing your note up, you can glue this with the mark with the glue stick as well. So you would just finish writing them first because once you add the glue, it makes this wet. But I'm going to do it just to show you. If you just go and create like a a rectangle of, of glue. making sure to put it in correctly. There's my message. My message needs to be on this side. This is awkward trying to do it upside down to show you. But now my, mess my card has my painted flowers, my heart, and my note inside. And I'll show you completed. My painted flowers, and they're dry. 
the heart that we cut out and the message inside. And remember, you can do this for your mom. You can make a thank you card for your teacher. You can make a thinking of you. You can make a birthday card. It's your card. You can make it however you want. Thank you for coming to Miss Kimmy's Art Corner. I hope to be able to do this with you real soon.